Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shiva Ravindra. Today I am going to explain you the real-time project scenario, scenario number 5. So can you explain me to derive the what are the imputation variables and how to do the imputation in the adverse events in one or two projects, okay? So here, first project, you can see there is a table they given in the SAP document how to impute the missing values or missing data data and month or data and month and year so you will see here so adverse event start date is missing so if the only the missing day is missing so we have to give the what they mentioned uh, if the month and day is equal to the treatment start date, you can take that day from the treatment start date. If it is containing the same month or the day first dose, then impute the date of the first dose. Okay. So, treatment start date and this missing date. If the month and day year is different, so you can impute the first day of the month. If it, the month and day is similar to the treatment start date, so you can take the treatment start day and you can impute here. So here miss day and month. So December 31st, you can impute if the month year is different. So in case year is same and you can take the treatment start day and month and you can impute here. Total missing, you can design the when the treatment was started, the complete date was missing. In end date cases, most of the time, the month day is missing, the particular month last day by using INT next function. If month and day both are missing, December 31st, if it is ongoing, then we can give the end date. Otherwise, you can give as a empty. So second project, this much of information they given for the imputation rule. So I just classified under, you know, easy way. So if the only June 2023 is given, so we have to give the first June. Okay. And if it is June 2023 and uh, so they given drug administration day you want to impute. So when the drug was taken, that date you can take and you can map here. So that time you can check with the month and day if the both are same. Otherwise before or etc. So condition you can see. So applied June 1st, the first day of the month before study drug administration date. So end date after the study. So 15th Jan 2023, the subject is taking the drug. So 15 you can take and add here. So third scenario like 2023 only given. So general scenario January 1st. If this 2023 is before or you know a similar to the treatment start date in some special cases so wait we can take the date and month from the treatment start date and you can input here and here you can see the fifth so september 2023 there so end date cases this particular month last day so if it is a leaf years 28 if it is you know january 31st like that so it completely missing so sometimes we can ignore Otherwise, we can completely entire treatment end date you can impute here. And here, if something completely year is also missing, so we can keep it as a missing in some cases. Okay. So this is the latest two projects, imputation rule. So we have to work on the imputation of adverse event dates as per the statistician mentioned in the sub document. So sometimes they given lengthy, sometimes given they directly, you know, put in you know, a first date of the month last date of month like that scenario so we have to understand the logic and we need to impute the appropriated values into the adverse event start date and create the ASTDT and ANDT variable thanks for watching this video